Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the Gilson Pro Plus controller for Gilson's concrete compression machines. The Gilson Pro Plus controller has a 320 by 240 pixel VGA display and a NEMA 4 rated dust and moisture proof stainless steel enclosure. This easy to use controller exceeds ASDM C39 and E4 requirements for accuracy and displays in real time load and rate of load as well as sample stress, sample size and sample type during the test and at the completion of the test peak load, average rate of load, and peak stress. To operate your Pro Plus controller for your compressive strength testing, you first press the setup key once the compression machine is calibrated and powered on. Now, on the setup screen, select time, date. Use the arrow and number keys to set the time and date. Press the enter key when all entries are correct. Next we're going to select the desired engineering units, the sample type, sample break, test report options, print options, rate options, whether we want to display the peak load or not, and choose the desired language. Press the corresponding number key to select an option. Under engineering units we have three unit types to choose from, load, stress, and size. For load units, we'll select pounds, then exit. For stress units, we'll select PSI, then exit. For size units, we'll select inches, then exit twice to return to the setup menu. For our sample type, we have multiple options including Cylinder, cube, beam third point, beam center point, cross-sectional area specimens, and cylinder split tension. For this demonstration, we'll use cylinder. And then we'll enter the cylinder's diameter and length. Then press the exit key twice to return to the setup menu. For our sample break, we'll use a load threshold of 500 pounds and a sample break of 50% of peak load. The sample break detector continuously monitors specimen loading and ends the test when the current load falls below a set percentage of the peak load. The peak load will be the concrete's compressive strength. Then press Exit to return to the setup menu. Before selecting test report options, review the function of each option in the Gilson product manual, as well as the reporting requirements of the particular ASTM and ASHTO test method. In this demonstration, we'll turn on all options. In most situations, auto store should be turned on. This will allow you to retrieve test results later. Press exit to return to the setup menu. Option 5 takes you to print options, where you can print your test results or send results to a PC. Option 6 allows you to select rate options. We have selected load, second. Option 7 toggles the peak load display from on to off. Option 8 toggles between English or Spanish. Now that we have set up the Pro Plus controller, we can run a compressive strength test. Weigh and measure the sample being tested and properly position it within the testing machine. Now press the key for sample ID. Press the up key to select letters or symbols. Use the clear key to correct any mistakes. When you are finished entering the sample ID, Move the cursor to the end of the entry and press Enter. Next, enter the age of the sample in days and press Enter. Now enter the weight of the sample in pounds and press Enter. Confirm the type and dimension of the sample 
and then begin the test. After failure, use the number keys to select the type of break. Now the data for your test is saved within the Pro Plus controller. The controller is now ready to begin the next test. Press Tear and Test Reset to go back to the main screen. Next, we're going to demonstrate how to transfer the data to a PC using the ABLE cable. Connect the serial connector to the serial cable on the Pro Plus controller. Then, connect the USB connector to the computer. Open an Excel document. With column labels entered, select the first cell where you would like to write the data. On the Pro Plus controller, press Setup and select 5 for print options. You can send the last test, all stored tests, or an individual test by entering the sample ID. Once you have selected your options, the data will write to the Excel document, starting in the selected cell. Before clearing the test database within the Pro Plus controller, make sure all necessary tests are saved to other media before clearing the database. The Pro Plus controller can store up to 500 tests. For any questions about the Gilson Pro Plus controller for compressive strength testing or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.